This is Dr. Shakil Ahmed. Today I want to discuss the breast ultrasound or sonomammography. In this video, I will include the advantages in the clinical implications of the sonomammography. Sonomammography is the most valuable tool in the diagnosis of different breast diseases. Sonomammography has advantages over other modalities, including mammography and MRI. The main advantages are, first of all, non-ionizing. As we know, in ultrasound we are using the sound waves for the imaging purpose. But in mammography, there is radiation called X-rays in which is causing ionization of the tissue and producing free radicals. The second advantage of the sonomammography is that is easily and readily accessible modality. Sonomammography is well tolerated by the patients. The breast sonography is very much inexpensive as compared to the other diagnostic modalities. Ultrasound is non-invasive, so it is easily tolerable. Sonomammography is real-time and it provides guidance for invasive procedures. Sonomammography overcomes all the limitations of mammography. But one thing it is to mention that sonomammography is not used for the screening purpose due to its less sensitivity. Breast ultrasound is used as supplemental screening tool in high-risk women with dense breast architecture or when assessment of the mammography is limited. The clinical implications of the ultrasound is that first of all characterization of the palpable mass. Whenever a patient is suffering from a palpable mass of the breast, the sonomammography or the breast ultrasound will characterize the palpable mass and will show whether that mass is solid, cystic, heterogeneous, homogeneous, ill-defined margins or with speculations. Secondly, ultrasound will characterize of abnormalities seen on mammography. Whenever we are seeing any mammography, with some abnormality, the second option is to do the ultrasound to characterize that abnormality. The primary breast imaging tool is sonomammography in those patients who are under 30 years or those who are pregnant or those who are lactating. Evaluation of the breast in patients for whom mammography is contraindicated or compromised like trauma, inflammations such as abscesses, dense breast architectures, irradiation, pregnancy. So the ultrasound will be a better option. Evaluation of new or abnormal nipple discharge For evaluation of new or abnormal nipple discharge, that is a good option. The sonomammogram is a better tool for evaluation of the augmented breasts. The breast ultrasound is used for the assessment of the lymph nodes. Ultrasound will help us 
and guidance for aspiration of any collection or biopsy of any lump or mass. The ultrasound will help the patient in radiation therapy planning. Especially, it will mark the area of previous surgical intervention. Effective breast ultrasound requires the expert knowledge of the heterogeneous nature of the breast diseases. So the operator must know the nature of the breast diseases and the normal anatomy of the breast. Familiarity with breast anatomy as I mentioned earlier. The operator should be fluent with the equipment optimization techniques. Breast sonography is operator dependent and therefore it is very much essential to receive extensive training and use appropriate equipments. Thank you for watching. This is presented by Shaquille Health Society, my YouTube channel. Uh, the next video will be regarding sonographic appearance of the normal breast tissue. Thank you.